<clears throat> Angie was my sister. She was a member of our family. We loved her very much and we will miss her every day. Every day and every night, my mom has to deal with the great pain that she saw one of her babies being buried. An experience no parent should have to witness. Every day my siblings and I reach for the phone and realize we'll never hear her voice. There are times we call and get <clears throat> try to get her advice and realize there's no answer anymore. A part of our family is missing, stolen from us. Angie was 18. Her life was just beginning. Angie was brave. She had guts, had courage, and was beautiful, was fun, and loving. She was our little sister. Throughout the past week and a half, we have watched as our sister Angie was lied about in this court. We watched angrily as defense presented an image of my sister that wasn't true. Their strategy, and make no mistake about it, it was bullying, tearing, tearing down my sister to make a monster look a bit better. It will not work. We want to make things clear. Angie was our sister, an aunt, and a daughter. Life was sometimes difficult for her. We learned, we learned along with her to understand that she was born a girl with a body that was wrong for her. We know Angie was one thing above all else, honest. To, it took such courage to be who she was. Life wasn't always easy, but she was so strong and there is absolutely no reason to believe my sister was anything but strong and honest with everyone. This week, <clears throat> this week we are deeply saddened and angry as a witness, as we witnessed graphic details about the last few minutes of my sister's life. A big brother supposed to protect us. <laughs> I got oh my God it. A big brother supposed to protect her little, his little sister. It breaks my heart to think that there was nothing I could do. <laughs> to protect my little sister. My sisters Monica and Ashley, when they saw what this monster had done to her, they wanted to hold her, to comfort her, to make her feel better. It's hard for them to realize that there is there was nothing they could have done. He stole something so precious from us. <clears throat> Only a monster can look at. A beautiful 18 year old. <laughs> and beat her to death. This monster not only hit my sister, but continued to beat her head in over and over and over and over again till her head was crushed in. <laughs> then he left her there to die. He will never understand how angry we are at him and how much he has hurt us. This past week and a half, we've seen attorneys working their hardest to seek justice for my sister. Our family wants to thank Rob Miller Brandy Nieto, Detective Thorpe, <coughs> Kelly Winters, Kelly Castillo, Crystal <coughs> Middle State Stat of CAVP, Mindy Barton, and the JLBT Community Center of Colorado, Fred Signs of the Gill Foundation, and Adam Bass of GLAD, along with the entire Weld County District Attorney's Office, Ken Buck for their support of our family and standing with us and standing with Angie. We are grateful that Colorado has tough laws that make it clear that attacking people because of anti-gender bias will be taken seriously. Targeting someone because she is transgender will be prosecuted aggressively in Weld County. This means a lot to our family. We are grateful that the laws 
are in place that they hate, <coughs> in place where hate crimes are wrong. In memory of Angie, we call on Colorado's leaders to pass a federal hate crime law to protect everyone. Justice was achieved for my sister today. The message was sent loud and clear that crimes targeting LGBT people will not be tolerated in Colorado, and specifically Weld County. We would ask everyone to remember my sister. Remember her like we do, as a beautiful, wonderful, precious teenager. <clears throat> she would want us to remember the happy times in her life, and together, and in Angie's memory, make the world a better place. We will always love you, Angie. <laughs> and we will always miss you, Miha. <laughs> Thank you.